Hello everyone, have you ever had that one friend that decided to like copy you on the exam except they're just smarter than you? So they just kind of like copy like the, the answers that they knew you did right and they just got a better grade off of it, you know? That one fucking dumbass friend and you're like, what the fuck, I let you copy my homework. Well, this, this happened recently in the gaming universe and that's because Power World exists. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what Power World is, it's very, very simple game to, to, to talk about. It's Pokemon mixed with Arc Survival Evolve. You put these two games together, you let them breed a little bit, and there you go. You literally just got yourself a little, little good game right there. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this game has a lot of controversies, and this is what we're going to be talking about. It's mainly because of the company behind the game, more so than the game itself, because the game itself is pretty... Pretty interesting and pretty cool, honestly. I really like the concept and the idea behind the game, uh, for sure. But the company that is controlling the little strings of it, uh, not so much. Pocket Pair, uh, as they are known, has done a game, one other game, uh, in the past, which is, of course, uh, Craftopia. If you don't know what Craftopia was, by my understanding, an open world type of crafting sim thing, uh, a Breath of the Wild X Fortnite, I would say, and uh, it kind of shows because the literal intro of the game is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's kind of fucked up. Like, editor, shoot, shoot the intro right there of the game. Literally out of the cave and then boom, you are greeted with the big landscape of Craftopia. Literally cinematic, one for one remake. Now obviously this is uh, <laughs> this is their first game, so hey, who you know playing around a little bit, you know that's fine, it's it's okay. I can let that I can let that one slide. David, good enough. But Power World is their second game that they have made, and obviously they pushed the boundaries a lot more higher, and they have proven to be pretty competent of making games. Although, um, by copying certain aspects, uh, I'll talk about some least, you know, least common things, uh, such as fucking uh, having arcs like crafting system and the way that it's presented and the way that a lot of things are in this game really feel like arc like really ripped off arc now i didn't play a lot of arc survival when i was uh when i was a little whippersnapper but uh let me tell you this much <laughs> it doesn't take you what rocket science to figure out that this is kind of similar uh, i mean most survival games look similar but this is almost almost copying Speaking of, the designs of the pals themselves, which are the little monsters where you can catch with these little balls. Very weird that they're balls that you use to catch them, but that's besides the point. Uh, that you use to catch these little guys. Well, so they kind of look pretty similar. Q Exhibit A here, uh, pretty similar to Pokemon, I should say, but Q Exhibit A here. We have fucking, uh, literally Decidueye. Like, Take Decidueye and take the Power World version. Look how similar they are. Now look at the Cinderace one. They look pretty similar as well. That's 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 pretty odd. Oh, is is that is that Mega Mewtwo Y? Now, the similarities uh, don't stop there. Obviously, uh, I could name countless more, but some of them are kind of less obvious than others, and. Uh, to be honest, some of them are pretty much exaggerated because I will say some of these designs 
I, obviously I'm not di disrespecting the artists behind the designs if they're not AI because that's also one thing they've been accused for is AI generated designs but for these people that have made these designs they have made a pretty damn good job of making really cool and interesting designs but they don't really fit for the world power world I, at least in my eyes some of them just kind of feel out of place they feel they don't feel right now i know i get it that it's supposed to sort of be the feel of the game to be like oh but you know it's they're they're kind of like pokemon but you know slavery and guns but really some of them just look too goofy or too much like pokemon or Temtem for that matter. I, w I would genuinely see these guys in Temtem or Pokemon than in that actual game. Which is one thing I'm going to be criticizing right here that's a general criticism is that they don't f they don't feel unique at all. When you're creating a game like this, you would kind of expect to have very unique designs. Uh, they are some of them are very unique. I will say the little little dinosaur guy, the blue guy that's has little little flat flipper arms. He's pretty unique, and I love him a lot. He's very goofy. Uh, I like the other one that kind of looks like Furred, but like an ice version of him. But he's more like a dragon esque thing, so it's really cute. He's really really cute. Uh, editor, cute picture of him. I think he's very adorable, etc. I think some of their designs are really really cool, but then again, they don't really feel in place for this world i don't know it, it's kind of it, it's kind of weird it's kind of weird it's not like the world that they're building doesn't have to not have uh goofy designs but maybe make it so that it's not blatantly obvious that you're copying pokemon or you know taking quote inspiration because again i have one more thing to add on to this And that is, of course, this company is making another game very, very soon, or releasing another game, I should say, that has the exact same art style as Hollow Knight. And in fact, it's literally, basically, Hollow Knight because it's a Metroidvania. Uh, <laughs> this time with multiplayer, and instead of Hollow Knight, it's Witches. Now, give or take whatever you will with all the information I'm bashing on you with i am basically speed running you information uh right now but let me tell you guys one thing uh i am not a huge fan of uh copying now obviously inspiration is a thing you can be inspired by an art style you can be inspired uh by a design you can be inspired by so many other things but pal world this new Hollow Knight game in Craftopia, Pocket Pair has kind of has kind of told me, hey, we just don't really care. We just take whatever is popular and kind of mix it all together, which is cool in hindsight. I mean, fuck, Power World is one of the most sold games on Steam right now, and honestly, this video is not me dissing all the players playing the game in fact keep playing the game if you want to if it's fun play the game go ahead i personally am not going to play this game just because well i don't really like this type of practice i think it's a little i don't want to say lazy but it's a it feels a little off and like one thing that also bugs me too is that this is all fine and dandy you know, being inspired, air quotes, by these things, but, like, what's original about these games? You know, what makes these games, like, more, you know, unique than all the other games we've played? Oh, it's the first capture monster, uh, game with, like, survival aspects. <laughs> monster Hunter sort of already does that. And, I mean, sort of, basically, Monster Hunter World sort of does that. Except you don't use it. You don't use this said creature, but sort of the same thing, sort of. And technically speaking, if you really want to use the same creature, uh, play Monster Hunter Stories. 
Simple as that. Except that's more of an RPG than, you know, a uh, survival, uh, guns blazing, throwing your Pokemon out and all that stuff and, you know, all the cool shit. But I, for one, do not, uh, do not like when uh, companies kind of just like yoink things from games because they think it's really cool and that's about it. And this is also made prevalent. Uh, in Power World as well, not just by the design of the pals being almost one for one copies of certain Pokemon, and even even it's not blatantly obvious, some of them have literal design patterns that kind of resemble other Pokemon, even though, again, like I said, most of them f kind of do feel, you know, just inspired for the most part, while well, some of them are just blatantly copied. Like, again, that Cinderace one is literally a regional variant of Cinderace. Literally a regional grass type variant of Cinderace. So, what gives? What the fuck? What am I looking at? What the fuck? But, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not gonna play Power World. <laughs> I'm not going to say the game sucks because uh, the game looks fantastic. It looks pretty revolutionary for the most part. Uh, I'm sort of counterintuitive when I'm saying that, but it looks revolutionary. But to me, by what I've seen and by what I know about the company, and f for fuck's sakes, eat one more thing. One more thing before I like conclude the video because I was about to conclude the video, but now I forgot something. They even have the do 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 Literally, that's how it just looks. It just looks like they're just copying every little aspect of every game that they can find and just go, this aspect, we're putting it in. This aspect, putting it in. Hey, this looks cool. Put this shit in. Let's make our own unique, unique spin. A, like a little, a little bit of uniqueness. Like a little, little unique spin to it, and then boom. Like literally, like a smidge of it. Just to make it so that you know we don't get any copyright or any like, you know, bad things going on to us. But hey, all I'm saying is it's just a theory. A pal theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Uh, I'm not buying Power World. See you guys later. Don't forget, drugs are bad for game. i make sure they're hot. A little smooch moi. And uh, I still can't believe that uh, this game sold a hell of a lot on Steam. Congratulations on Pocket Bear. I'm not playing that game until uh, until further notice, I guess. <laughs> All right, see ya.